Most of Oklahoma has had a good spring and, and summer in terms of moisture and have been able to grow an adequate amount of pasture forage, whether it be Bermuda grass or, or native grasses. We want to remember though, as we go into the uh, last part of the summer and the day lengths uh, start to shorten, that these grasses will mature and lower in protein content. Also, we want to remember that the cow's requirements for protein and energy are, are going to stay the same, or in some cases, maybe even increase. We've got to have enough protein and energy going into those cows for continued lactation, uh, so that they, uh, if they're young cows, they can continue to grow. And if we need to, in some cases, we may need to increase body condition before those cows go into the winter months. That brings about a concept of supplementation when we've got a lot of standing forage that's available that I think producers want to remember. It's a concept that I call positive associative effect. And what that boils down to is that as these plants get lower in protein, then the bugs and the rumen can't utilize that forage nearly as well, nearly as fast, and those cows don't get the nutrients that they need. But if we can supply a small amount of a high protein supplement, say something like cottonseed meal, then we can help those bugs do a better job of digesting this forage. Take a look at this uh, research that was done here at Oklahoma State University a number of years ago. And what we're looking at is a comparison of cows that either did not receive the protein supplement but were consuming low quality forage, or cows that got one and three quarters pounds per head per day of cottonseed meal. First of all, the rumen retention time. That's the time that the forage was in the rumen before it got digested, passed out, and the cow had the, the empty feeling in order to want to go out and consume more forage. The retention time with those that got supplemented was shortened by about 32 percent. This then uh, went ahead and correlated with intake. The cows that got a little bit of supplement, even though they're, they're actually getting a little bit more feed being hand, felled, hand fed to them, they consumed 27 percent more grass than did the cows that didn't get any supplement. So you've got a situation where they're consuming more forage, they're getting more out of it because we, we can tell that by the rumen retention time and therefore those cows are getting more nutrients for milk production and for maintaining or increasing body condition. As we go into late summer, I'd suggest that if you've got lots of good grass available, take a look at your cows. If they're in great body condition already, especially mature cows, then we just continue the program as normal. But if we've got some younger cows, some two-year-olds, some three-year-olds, that we think are just a little bit too thin, take advantage of that positive associative effect. Supply them with a small amount of a high protein supplement, and it'll help them digest more of this forage to better utilization, and they'll go into the winter in better body condition and do a better job for you in terms of delivering the calf next spring and rebreeding the following breeding season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>